You cannot hesitate, my king. The Iron Horde must be stopped. You speak only of their savagery. But surely they are not all monsters. There was one. Durotan. His clan prided itself on suppressing rage. For they knew that those who succumb to the beast within become their own greatest enemy. The clan was named for its kinship with the Snow White Frost Wolves. Together, they hunted the mighty Clefthoof. Every winter, the Clefthoof would migrate, and the clan would follow. But one year, when Durotan was very young... Mother, they're leaving it. You've got to wake up. His mother Gaia had been bitten by a drift lurker. Those who suffered its bite fell into a deep sleep, and few had ever awakened. We can do no more for her! If we don't go, the entire clan starves! Or worse, the guard will be hungry! And you want them to feed on our mother? Father wouldn't leave her, Gnar, and neither will I. Father would know we can't carry our dead with us. She's not dead! Calm yourself, brother. You know what your anger can lead to. While the others are gone, I speak for the clan. We leave! Now! I'm... not... going. Days passed. Durotan remembered the lessons his mother had taught him, and with the aid of Gaia's old wolf Stormfang, they survived. Mother, winter is setting in. You have to wake up. Wake up. Orc and beast alike feared the Garn. Great black wolves. Among the most vicious and cunning predators on Dranor. <laughs> Durotan and Stormfang killed the lone wolf. But Durotan knew that the Garn hunted in packs, and with the setting of the sun, they would attack. He prepared to make his final stand. Mother, they're coming for us. You have to wake up. I would rather have died than know my son had become a beast. Durotan wore Stormfang's fur until the end of his days. 
A constant reminder of the old wolf's courage and loyalty. But a reminder also that even the most noble of orcs may fall prey to the savagery within.